So I recently got this question on my YouTube channel, which was related to a previous video that I had done about the best evidence to provide immigration to prove that you have a bona fide or legitimate marital relationship, okay? So the question, can I still get a green card if my spouse and I don't share financial resources? So I'm gonna tell you the answer to that, but I am gonna refer you to the other video I did because in that video, I gave four different things that I said was the best evidence for purposes of immigration for the marriage-based green card. Check out that video because things are gonna be uh, make a lot more sense if you check that out, but they're also gonna give you really good information to be able to move forward with your case, okay? Hello everyone, I'm attorney Lee Marvin and I have been practicing immigration law for about a decade. I've been practicing law for over 20 years though, okay? My main office is in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I help individuals and families from any state in the country and honestly, any country on the planet. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, check it out. If you haven't liked me, or like my channel, you need to do that too so you can get notified of future videos, okay? So please stand by for the answer to the question of sharing finances. So immigration looks at a number of different things, right? They look at your commitment to one another. And in my last video, I explained this, that there's certain pieces of information that are more valuable than others. I said, children in common, so birth certificates. If you actually have children, that's a pretty important step to showing that you have a legitimate relationship. A shared home is another way of doing that. If you live in the same residence, pretty important, right? Mm -hmm. Joint taxes. If you file taxes together, that's a huge piece of evidence to show that you are in a committed relationship. Nothing is more important, however, than shared finances. What does that mean? Again, shared finances is you have bank accounts in common, you have financial resources that you share together, right? So you have checking accounts, savings accounts where both of you have access to it and you can use it the way either one of you would in, use it individually. So that is a huge piece of evidence and also debts together. If you both have debts where you both are financially responsible for the same debt, that's huge. That's a great way of showing immigration that you are in a real relationship because in this day and age, whether you have a financial commitment to each other is probably the easiest way and the best way to show that you are really committed, okay? Because people have kids, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually committed to one another. But if you both are gonna suffer financially, well, that's pretty much what it all comes down to these days. So that information is critical. What if you don't share resources? Are you doomed to failure? Is immigration gonna see through it and automatically deny it? I don't think so. It definitely is very helpful if you do have shared f financial resources. But again, like I said, resources and debts. So if you don't have a shared joint bank account, you can at least show that you have the opposite, which is debt. If you can show that you both are obligated to certain debts, that is the next best thing, right? So if you don't have shared financial resources, show that you have a shared debt, okay? You have an account together. If you have uh, like power bills, utility bills that you both are listed on there, that's good evidence because it shows that the government can come after either one of you to pay the bill. So that's almost as good as sharing money. It's sharing the obligation to pay the money is the next best thing. So if you don't share financial resources, the positive resources, then the negative resource, which is the debt, is the next best evidence that you can use. So you're not gonna kill your process if you don't have a joint bank or checking, but only if you have other things that show that you have a more long-term commitment and that you will be in trouble if you both don't do what you're supposed to do, okay? So that is one way of doing it. Again, like I said, children in common, a shared home, uh, joint taxes, that's that's phenomenal. That may be, that used to be the most important. Now I think it's second most important, okay? If you file your taxes together, 
then you are definitely showing the immigration that you are committed and then you are in a bona fide or legitimate relationship and because of that immigration definitely needs to approve your green card request if you need help with this craziness click the link below and i can help you um, it's better if you do this stuff before you file but even if you file you need to supplement your filing you can click the link below to book a time to talk to me and i can help you strengthen your case or fix your case just let me know how i can help i'm here to help